What up, everyone? Welcome to the party. We're gonna say I'm gonna say exotic, and I'm running for president in 2020. I won't cut my hair. I'm not changing my clothes. I never was seen put on a suit. The whole state of Florida got a. What? Oh, the whole state of Florida, they got a, you know, a warrant out for my arrest and everybody's suing me. Can't go down there. I have one of the best uh, zoos here in Long Island. So vote for me in 2020. I hope everyone's very excited because we have a full, uh, a full, Line up of fantastic things to talk about and think about. Um, the world is, uh, I, I will say that I'm gonna try not to curse, but I, I can't promise anything because, uh, yeah, the world outside is just kind of crazy right now, and uh, I'm losing my mind. And, uh, thank you speaking, I'm losing my mind because uh, my mom's been here. For six straight weeks. And uh, she's ruining my wife. She uh, basically is trying to learn piano, which is awful because she sucks. And I have to live with that. And she's eating all the snacks, so she's gaining a lot of weight. And uh, showering? I don't know how often that's happening. So this is basically what's going on with my wife lately. And, uh... I have a lot to say about it. Um, let's welcome my next guest, me. <laughs> That's all you need. Just to see. Me and you out there. How's everyone doing? In the wind of virtual cyber reality. Are we maintaining sanity? Are you... Staying away and socially distancing yourself from everyone? Because you should be. If you're not, you're ruining it. You're ruining it for all of us. And let me explain to you how this affects my life. Aside from my mother not showering, getting fat, and learning to play the piano terribly, I have had no time for online shopping because nothing is open. Take a look at my t-shirt. My mother, who has no talent, sew this shirt for me because the shirt I ordered from the internet had a two to seven week delivery window. What the hell is that? So for all you mofos that ain't socially distancing, going out gallivanting, dating, ruining my ability to spend my money, I hate you. And you really need to stop. It doesn't matter about my outfit because I pretty much look good in anything. But I really, really prefer to have the outfit handcrafted for me from my clothing providers. Okay, but instead, my mom had to use a sewing machine, which was very funny to watch. Because she had to watch two YouTube videos. And the shirt, I don't know. Yeah, I was going to wear something, uh, maybe my jean jacket, but then I was thinking about my idol, Joe Exotic, and uh, you know what? If he's not changing his clothes, neither am I. I'm going to stay in my robe. No big deal. You know what else I'm having a problem with? With regard to the coronavirus? Where are the celebrities? What are they doing to entertain us? They literally have one job. Put on a show. We're all stuck at home. 
we have nothing to do. I expect a little more from them. Which is why I'm volunteering my time to do this tonight. Even though I expect to be paid. Because, look at this. You have 55 minutes of real sick. Some people will pay a million dollars for this. And when I realized that, I thought about maybe creating an OnlyFans page. I don't know how that would uh, work out. I don't know what kind of content I can provide, but I'm positive that there's a bunch of weirdos out there that'll donate money to my OnlyFans page. So this is something on my to-do list. To delegate to my staff. To look at. Screw the celebrities. Now. Who else thinks that this is a conspiracy from the government? That Lord Cheeto Face has subjected us to the coronavirus and put us in a state of fear so that people don't have money to give me any more. I do. I'm not looking at the comments, so if you agree with me, I can't tell. But drop a line. I think, Lord Cheeto, this is all the master plan to wipe us out. I've had the coronavirus for about six weeks now. I don't know if I told you guys that. But it's pretty serious. And honestly, I don't think I'm getting the sympathy that I need and that I deserve. My mother doesn't care. She's ridiculous. You know what? You know who does care? Where to be? I hope he's been very nice to me. But I haven't received an outpouring of love from my friends. And it's really beginning to piss me off. Okay? So, go to my Instagram and say something. Let me know. It's all you need to little C. Underscores in between all the words. And tell me how much you love me and miss me and want me to get better. The second thing you could do is send me money. I desperately need money. And then if I open up the only fans page, you can give me money on that too. But I'm not getting naked. You know something else that pissed me off? What about all the snacks that I want, that aren't available, and that I don't have access to? Because everyone who's dumb is going out and buying everything. Instead of rationing out, I can't get 10 boxes of toasted strudels. I can only get one. And then my mom eats her thing because she's so fat. I was thinking about waiting a little while to give you all something that you want desperately. But I think I've got to give it to you now. Because you deserve it, America. And um, I'm going to need a little help from my friends to come in here. And pray a little change. Oh, also, I need my vodka. Yeah, straight class up in here. As exotic Joe, Joe exotic would want. 
That one missed it too. You guys are in stuff for quite a treat today. Um, I'm here. William! William! One Direction, holding the microphone. Yeah. William has aged out of the boy band system, so he works as a really good butler for me right now. <laughs> I don't know what other work he's qualified for, so he's going to hold a microphone. And the first tune that we're going to do, the first tune we're going to do is a song um, by one of my favorite artists. Um, his name is Billy Kurgan, and he's the lead singer of a band called Smashing Pumpkins. And I really love Billy Kurgan because he's not a camping man. He's artistic um, creativity and desires. He doesn't fall a victim to what people say about him, okay? And I think that um, you're uh, going to enjoy what I have in store for you. Oh, there's my sister Vera. She has to be on the screen at the time. That's fine. She can't help but hear me sing. Here we go. To send you with this man And get me a new man to Get that little child to the stick And set up me a doctor part of you Oh, there he's been Oh, there he's been
Okay, you finished. All right, that was the end. Thank you. That's one of my staff members. Brain, he made my intro. Thank you for that. Um, my sisters have come in here and they're pissing me off right now. Viva always has to be the center of attention. Okay, Viva. This is a problem when you're not an early child. Um, everyone's just always really jealous. Liam, get away from me. just really always jealous of my fame and fortune. Um, and uh, it, it's hard. I'm not going to lie. It really takes a toll on me as a person. Um, I'm just trying to do what I need to do and, uh, you know, live my best life, um, eat, play well, and watch all the Oprah I can. And uh, I have these haters constantly coming around and uh you know just uh really try to um ruin me and uh this comes to conspiracy theory number two that i think the coronavirus was created by my competitors to try to kick me out of the name night and even though i've had it for about 10 weeks now i know i'm still here so whatever, you know, whatever you thought you were doing, your attempts have been thwarted by me. And uh, I'm never going to stop wearing my best wife. And can, can I please have a Snickers? Can I have a Snickers right now, please? Who here is on my staff? Give me the Snickers. I'm not myself when I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's make a full size Snickers. I stole this Snickers um, from my mom's currently closed game store. Something else she wasn't able to accomplish in life. Uh, she wanted to start a business and uh, she had to close it down because, uh, you know, Fine, the coronavirus might have something to do with that, but you know, she is a failure. And uh, most of what she's done in her life is not successful. Whereas uh, me, I am the John Bonet, if you will, and uh, I've been pretty successful in my ventures. Um, you know, when corona is over, you know, maybe she can reopen, but uh. Yeah, it's gonna be half a cause she you know, sucks. And uh but I stole this Snickers bar right from her store. Um, right from under her nose. She had no idea of stealing. So, you know, good a job at security. <laughs> So far regarding the coronavirus and its origins, um, one, Lord Cheeto, and the second, my competitors. And um, that's why I think it's so important for people like me to donate and volunteer my time to talk to you about the important issues so you can stay abreast of what's really going on. And what's really going on is that there has been a hostile takeover of our security and sanctity and safety in our nation. And we need to be doing something to stop it. And uh, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of people living in tents. Um, is that, you know, should we be charging rent? I don't know, but 
Okay. My my staff is clearly out of control. Um. You know what? We'll save that for another episode. That might be a very controversial topic, as uh, most of the things that I talk about are. Something else that I've been thinking about a lot lately are all you bandwagoners um, who are in love with Governor Andrew Cuomo, who was a standard guy, and then one person thought he was sexy, and now everybody thinks he's sexy. And frankly speaking, I do not believe he's very sexy. Um, I think he's old as fuck. <laughs> I think he's old AF. And... You know, <laughs> why are you guys doing that? All right? Um, there are younger fish in the sea that have a little more life expectancy that you could be, you know, putting your hopes and dreams into. I don't know if he's the one. And I heard he has his nipples pierced. And that's weird. I don't know if it's true. I don't fact check. I don't care, but I just read something and I go with it because uh, that's what responsible intellectuals do. They hear information, they tell other people about it. They don't fact check. That's uh, time consuming and frivolous. Just tell everyone and then figure it out as you go. You know? Um, we make sure that you're not getting information from an idiot um, like Lord Cheeto but you know pretty much anyone will do I'm always the best source for information I'm pretty much the smartest person I know I know a lot of people um, everyone's obsessed with me so you know it's a uh, it's safe to say that, you know, I am a good source. And, uh, last week, uh, we were celebrating some holidays. We had Pesach and Easter. And, uh, you know, for my Jewish friends, you know, happy Pesach. And, uh, you know, I know it may be hard that you can see your friends and loved ones. Um, there was a severe lack of presents that I received from my family and friends for Easter. Um, I didn't get anything. My uh, mother gave me some things that were already in the house, which is not giving a gift. That is uh, re-gifting and, you know, some form of Indian giving, which is a racial shit, and I'm sorry. And, uh, and uh, you know, that's uh, severely disappointed with the Easter Bunny. That's for sure. Something that I, I do want to let you know is that um, my birthday is coming up on May 25th. And uh, you still have an opportunity to send me money and gifts over the internet. And I think that that's a really great idea and a good way for you to spend your stimulus check. Um, you don't need that money. And uh, I, I do need the gifts. Um, another thing to know about my mother as an under retriever is that she uh, barely works. And, uh, you know, that severely affects my, uh, my income and uh, my disposable income. So May 25th, I'll give you um, I, I wonder if we can do that. Mike, are we able to share my screen and go to my Instagram? Can you 
see it? <laughs> okay. Um, I I think it's important for everybody to um in order for don't stop it. Go to town. God, my staff is like a a band of wild idiots over here. Um. Okay. So. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of information about what I've been doing over the past, um, few months before coronavirus, before I was forced to stay in your house with my mother, um, I was traveling because I'm a girl that likes to travel. So, um, I just want to show you guys some of my pictures and, uh, you know, what better to talk about than me. So the first image that we have, this is me um, sitting in my yard, just like reflecting. Um, the sun was very strong that day, so I had to wear my white cross sunglasses that I stole from someone. Thanks, Joe. And uh, you know, I'm just. There's so many things to think about, and sometimes it's really hard for me to just like relax and um, you know, like just like find myself, you know, try to really live in the moment. So this is just a picture of me reflecting. It's also a picture of me noticing how lazy my uh, family is and how they leave the dog poop everywhere. Useless. Let's go to the next picture. Ah, sun salutations. This is me um, enjoying myself on a yoga retreat um, upstate New York. And uh, you see that the sun is coming down. I mean, you know, I'm a very busy, famous person. And sometimes it's it's challenging for me to to gather myself and um, you know, really bring out my best self. So this is a picture of me just enjoying the sun and doing a little um cobra pose. Okay, on to the next. Hurry up. Oh, oh, oh. Here I am kissing the Blarney Stone in Ireland. You know who wasn't able to kiss the Blarney Stone? Who was right ahead of me? And we walked up. Um, 100 arduous steps in Brawny Castle, in Brawny Ireland. We walked all the way up the steps. We waited on line. We're in a dilapidated castle. And right ahead of me, my mother laid on the floor and then chickened out. I was going to say another word that starts with a P, but this is children's programming. And did not kiss the bunny stone. Because she's a little bitch. <laughs> I kissed the bunny stone, which is why I have my own talk show. Because I speak eloquently. And she does not. That's what happens when you don't kiss the blind stone. Next. Oh. I know where this is. Okay. My staff member is here trying to tell me where I know where I am. Okay. Okay. Um, I went to Northern Ireland and regular Ireland. Um, and visited um, all of the Game of Thrones filming locations that were there. 
And one of the locations that we went to was Dragonstone. And here's a picture of me. I'm standing atop Dragonstone, living out my full Targaryen roots. Um, I've never felt more at peace and more than in any location um, other than Dragonstone. So this was a really meaningful moment for me in my life. Um, I'm wearing my fur coat, obviously. Um, it's gorgeous. I'm gorgeous. I mean, what else <laughs> makes sense? Next. <sighs> okay. Young Greyjoy. Here we are. Uh, this is me laying on the rock where the bastard, I mean, technically not a bastard. He was noble blood, but a bastard in his actions. Yaron Greyjoy was killed by the Jamie Lannister who had sex with his sister and loved her and had three babies. Um, the rock, this is where Yaron Greyjoy died and he said some lines that had an f word in them i'm the man who f and jamie ranister but he didn't he's dumb because jamie ranister lived and got to die with his ancestral sister and uh you was good for them they're really living their best life you know but they're dead so next picture I think I have a comparison shot. Oh my god. Okay. This is a big photo for me. Um so remember when um Melisandra gave birth and um I uh, she was doing sex with Stannis Baratheon and gave birth to um the demon monster that, that uh, <laughs> this is where never stands for gave birth in a cave and I basically gained access to this area where no one else was allowed to go because of my celebrity status and um you know, it's like there's pros and cons of being famous. A pro is that I gain access to these, you know, closed off locations. And a con is that like, while I'm there, everyone wants to be near me. So some dumbass with what blue and green sneakers wouldn't get out of my shot because they were like, Lucy. Come, you know, take a picture with me. And I just get out. I'm just trying to like recreate a scene from one of my favorite shows. Something that I'm gonna mention. Oh wait. That's the scene from the show. See, this is what my staff was unable to do. But I'm able to mention all the shows. So it's that simple. Okay? No. Okay. Um this was a really special occasion for me. Um my mother is a fan of Avia Stack. Obviously I am too. Uh, she's a strong female character. And we have to, you know, respect that. Um, obviously, I'm a Targaryen. So, you know, we have conflicting ideas. But, you know, um, there was a scene when she was in Bravos and she was flying out of water. And she got stabbed by that weirdo that she was stuck in the house of black and white with. Okay. And she, she climbed out of the water after she... Um, she was visiting. Yeah. 
here I am, climbing out of the water just like her. So, you know, they bring these actors and actresses that make a lot of money to these special locations. And, uh, you know, I'm of the same caliber, basically. Um, something that I'm going to mention is that my mother has been, um, she pretty much wears the same outfit every day, but, um, she has a pile of clothes near her bed, um, recently worn clothing, and there was not a bra to be seen in that pile, just to let anybody know. So, that's what I'm dealing with here. Um, anyways... This is me just, um, enjoying a few moments of zen on a train ride that I'm taking. Uh, first class, obviously, which is why you can see that, that coffee, um, thing next to me. I don't drink coffee. Caffeine doesn't own me. So, I don't even know what it's called. An N? Oh, a French press. <laughs> and Anne is where the dead people go. <laughs> okay, um, it's a French press, which sounds fancy, and it is, but again, coffee doesn't own me. Um, so that's me just reflecting on my life. Um, here's me in the airplane. I'm traveling home. Um, I was not in first class um, because my mother, like I said, doesn't work and um, she can provide nothing for me. So I'm in regular people class, um, which is very annoying, honestly. Um, you know, I deserve certain comforts and luxuries and first class on an international plane ride is something that I expect. And um, no, I'm just, I wasn't able to get it. And uh, that's one of the problems that I'm facing right now. Um, so for all of you who are listening and sympathizing with me, remember, give me your stimulus checks. Because, you know, I need to go to New Zealand and I'm not going to New Zealand in um, passenger, regular passenger, uh, coach. Is that what it's called? Eh. I need first class right away, baby. So, um, who knows? <sighs> These little idiots. Um, basically, that tall, gangly, weird looking boy. He left me for one of, uh, he left his, <laughs> me, you didn't meet me. He left his dumb girlfriend for me right in front of her face. And they were all looking at me surprised, but they shouldn't have been surprised because she's ugly and I'm gorgeous. And that's all there is to say about it. Um, the problem in this world is that, um, you know, women don't know how to support other women. And if your boyfriend likes me, you should submit to that idea and just deal with it. Um, it's not my responsibility to make sure that your boyfriend you know, stays committed to me. Um, you know, I can't help it that I'm gorgeous and beautiful. Um, you know, if, if your boyfriend wants to leave you to be with me, then, then so be it, you know? Um, boys are dumb, and they're a waste of time, thank you, but, you know, here we are. Oh, we're talking about this one. Um, this guy was totally obsessed with me. Um, you know, I was just laying on the beach getting some sun. Um, hashtag gray girl. And, um... You know, he basically came up to me and was like, I'm a never do. I, I want to be with you. 
and please take a picture with me. And I obliged him because I'm, you know, not an a-hole. Um, even though he was totally getting in the way of my, you know, vacation down in Nags Head. And, um, but, you know, this is what happens when you're a celebrity. Um, people ask you something, you have to give in to them. You know, um, otherwise, if it's not, you know, all about your fans, then who's it about, you know? Um, I love my fans. AF, AF, AF. Um, but, you know, sometimes I just want a little time to myself. And, uh, you know, the out of banks. And um, so whatever, this guy was like, whatever. Um, he wound up paying me about $500. So I just made it happen. Okay, can you stop sharing my screen now? Snape. I'm, I'm talking to my staff. That's working for me. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, I don't know where everybody's at right now with um, Tiger King, but I assume that everybody has seen it in its entirety. Um, my hero and um Cafodon, uh Joe Exotic is still being locked up in jail and it's preventing him from getting on the presidential ticket against Lord Cheeto. And um I'm really upset about that because you know Joe Exotic is exactly what we need right now. He is exactly what this country needs to pull us back together, to get us out of the um, rut that we're in. Um, you know, he has not one but two boyfriends at all times, you know, since the 70s, which uh, I admire. And uh, he married both of them in a really weird ceremony. Um, the Pictures were gorgeous. I think everyone saw them. Um, you know, you can never have too much pink tiger print in one picture. That's my opinion. And, um, you know, Kim Kardashian's doing a lot of work with getting people um, who have been wrongfully accused of things released. And I think that this is um, maybe a topic that she needs to spend some time thinking about. Um... But also, he was very cool. Too. I literally do not ever remember talking to you at all. Um, that's my mom. And I did not allow her to speak on this broadcast of literacy. Completing with literacy. Get out. Okay, bye. Bye, my mom. I don't care. My show. Anyway, what was I talking about? Joe Exotic, my hero. Um, I just think everything about him is, um, like his whole look is just really desirable and sexy. And if I could have one ounce of that, um. I would do anything. The truth is, is that I have a million ounces of that because I am more gorgeous than him. But I can still admire someone, you know, for, yep, for the things they have. Um, yeah, go ahead, put it in. My staff members not knowing what to do. This is my friend Simba. Um, we have a long relationship together. Um, I tried watching the, that, what's it called? The live action Lion King the other day. I couldn't do it. I immediately cried five minutes in. Um, you know, I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't go through with that tough scene. Mufasa's tough scene. 
Um, it was just too much for me. So um, I watched Aladdin instead, live action. I still don't quite understand the concept of live action. Are they real people? What is fake? I don't know. But it sounds dumb. But anyway, I watched it. And um, I felt like it was really bold for them to take as many liberties as they did by adding a whole new female anthem in there. Um, I get it. You know, women's web that we need, you know, songs and stuff. Uh, I like the song. I'm not going to lie. Like, I did enjoy it. Um, I thought that was a really ballsy move, though. Um, you know, but whatever. I enjoyed the film. I thought Will Smith was going to be awful, but he wasn't. He was very musical. He's fantastic. Um, something else to know about me is I just recently finished the show Nashville uh, with Connie Britton and Hayden Panettiere. Right? I don't know what her name is. Hayden Panettiere. Some shit like that. Um... Anyway, so I finished Nashville, um, cried, laughed, loved, um, downloaded the songs, um, pissed that they didn't ask me to be a part of it. Uh, country music is one of the staples in my life. Um, you know, I, it's a genre that I've always excelled in. Um, I've asked my music a producer to learn a song for me. I don't think he did. Uh, he's pretty lazy. But, um, did you earn it? No. Um, we didn't, okay. So, the country, okay, hold on. In a few weeks, I'm doing a charity show for um, Fred Raiders, who are also helping us with this weekend. And during that weekend, I'm going to um, world premiere one of my favorite um, country songs. But for now, um, I'm going to sing one more song for you guys, because I love you. Um, I just have to get it ready because my staff again is behind. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, this is this is gonna be my last number. Um. I have my guitar. Where's William? William! I asked my mother to help me with an outfit check, but lazy as usual. She's too fat to get up. Um, okay, this is my final song. It's um for all of my um, lovers, all of my fans, and also for my haters, because, um, I'm not going to deprive you of the best thing in the world just because you're dumb. So, um, without further ado, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Thank you for being a fan. Drive it down the road and back again. If you had it too, you have a power and a confidence. And if you follow a party and invited everyone you knew, you would see the biggest gift for people. 
Mm -hmm. I love you, America, and beyond. <laughs>